Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're looking at this monster. No, literally, it, it's called Monster. It's fall, football season is finally here once again. Rejoice! <laughs> and I will have been looking for some solution that allow me to watch my beloved football, college football, outdoors um, on my deck when the weather's nice without having to invest in a whole external TV. My deck and is not really set up to put a, an outdoor TV, so it'd be kind of like, I'd have to really think about. Anyway, doesn't matter. Point is, I needed something portable and easily, you know, moved around. And I stumbled across this bad boy in the aisle at Sam's Club and I said, hello. It grabbed my attention. Um, biggest uh, positives is obviously it looks like a freaking, you know, boom box or croaky machine or whatever. Um, <laughs> karaoke. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, like it caught my attention. I'm like, this might be exactly what I need. And it was, I believe $159 at Sam's club. You can probably find it at your local club or online. And I'm going to test it out and see if it's a good product. Let's get into it. Okay, this is what comes in the box. You get the unit itself. Pretty big, beefy unit. Um, you get a fun little old school antenna that's, uh, well, it's fairly portable decent amount of cable to it um, so that you can string up your antenna where you need to along with a quick clip coaxial connector so not the kind you screw on thank the lord for that that was always a pain in the butt USB A to USB C um, I assume that's for probably charging I will have to double check that mm, no actually uh, that may not be uh, I'll double check that this is the charging cable um, you can tell by that connector. And then a fun little carrying pouch to have, you know, to house all these things, as well as a manual and like a quick start guide. Oh, yeah. And look at this fun little remote. It is about the size of a credit card and uh, <laughs> lots of little indents on it. Not sure how uh, critical it is, but we'll hang on to it. Go over some of the visual features of the unit itself. Obviously, you've got your screen. <laughs> Generously sized, I believe it's a 15.6, I think, 15.6 inch screen here. Um, you got your whole set of top controls, volume, um, got mic input, so you can use this as a uh, singing station if you want. Um, a lot of your controls you can do here as well as in, in the remote. You got your Bluetooth connection. Um, you've got a USB out 5 volt here on the top. So, you know, nice array of, of features. Let's flip it around. The back, you've got some options as well. You've got your, your rocker on off switch. And then you have the DC in. This is a uh, 15 volt. So you can power it by the, this is kind of a barrel plug. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me see if we can zoom in on this a little bit. There we go. Pull this down. It's a barrel plug. Um, pretty standard. You just need an adapter pushing 15 volt DC in. And then, of course, here's the actual plug that the cable will go into here to power the station or to charge it up. Open this up. You've got a. Ooh, okay. Hang on a second. Zoom this out. You got a cavernous indention in here where you could put. You know, your cable, you can stick that in there pretty easily. You got your antenna connector here. You, you probably can't see it too well, but there's a con antenna connector. There's two HDMI inputs as well as a USB um, jack as well. So that's all good. And I'm trying to think that's pretty much most of the features. I'm really interested in this all of a sudden, but... All right, um, so I'm going to hit the rocker switch in the back to turn it on. Display. Ooh, you heard that, yeah. So a little power light comes on on the end, said display at me. Um, volume's pretty high, I think. Oh, no, I can do it. 
to go down to zero. Okay. So it looks like it's in TV mode. We're going to, uh, <laughs> it's not touch screen. <laughs> I'm going to have to use this. Enter that for home. Uh, I think we're good. We'll do that. You can set your time zone. We're central here. On. That's fine. Air cable. Uh, let me go ahead and connect this antenna to the back. I don't know that we're going to pick up any actual um, stations here in the basement, but we'll plug it in just on the off chance that we're getting somewhere. The cable or the antenna is a coaxial jack as well as a USB. It provides power to the antenna. So um, it's kind of a powered, lightly powered antenna. We'll see if we get any channels with it. So now it's running through the standard checking for channels like you do. Um, again, I'm not really expecting it to find too much down here. We'll need to get it set up somewhere where we have a chance. All right, it looks like it found, oh gosh, it found a lot of channels, a lot more than I thought it would, something like 40 some odd channels. Um, I'm going to take advantage of the little remote here and see if we can not jump through a few of these and see what we got. Wow. Did not get, it says it found PBS, but it did not actually show it. Said it found Fox, but also not through. So, oh, no, nope, it's getting just a little bit. So maybe if I mess with the antenna, it would probably get that a little clearer. Um, what else? I forget there's so many over the air channels now. Honestly, the screen looks pretty good. You know, I think it's kind of small. Let's, let's turn up the volume here. And, um, and I remember I wrote that song because of that combusting of joy. Okay, that is max and volume right there. I've been trying to fight my way back to those feelings, but I realized in those seasons that I had that, those, those kind of vivid moments of... Are able to do that? Well, that there is... The price of a funeral can be $8,000 or more. So, I mean, I know sound doesn't death travel death. great, but uh, it's like fairly that. loud. It's not, we'll it's not deafening, and I'm only two feet away. That's so. why I made a call and found out I'm eligible. Customer for that. There's <laughs> no <Nareva. laughs> Go through your sources here by hitting this button. Box in. That would be your auxiliary input, the, probably the microphone. Bluetooth. Bluetooth, so you can sync with your phone. Display. That would be the antenna, or, or uh, sorry, that would be the HDMI input. FM radio. Where you can do some tuning. I don't know if you can see this very well, but here's the, over here is your channel, or your, uh, FM radio station. Let's see if I can find something that's live. I haven't worked in FM radio in so very long. <laughs> I think 92.5 is something. If you give us an opportunity to help, our team, led by my very own father, Bob, will visit your property to review in person before cool we give stuff. you a fair cash off. Bluetooth. You can you got a dedicated Bluetooth, or you can source Display. through it. Display. Um, let's connect something uh, external to this so that we can um, see what else we can do with it, honestly. And when it's charging, you can tell because the little power light flashes uh, every second or so. So right now we're charging it up. We'll try to see what kind of battery life we get out of it. Okay, so I, I, you know, it's great that the TV portion of this is working. That's wonderful. Um, however, that's not why I bought it. I, I didn't trust that the antenna would just work for me. I do have an Amazon Fire Stick that I'm going to try to connect up to it and see if I can use that for like streaming YouTube TV or Fubo or whoever you're streaming, Sling TV, whatever. We're gonna try that next. HDMI 2. I believe I connected my, yep, there's my Fire Stick TV. 
um, it's booting up, you do have to plug it into the USB outlet to get the get that fired up. So let's give it a second or two and see if we can get that working. The cool thing about the fire stick is I actually can hide everything inside there and not have anything exposed. The cable, the stick itself, all of it's in there, and I can just close the door. Cool. I got, I got uh, streaming TV on it. That's cool. Kickoff time, sunny, no humidity. Here we are in the Midwest. Oh, it's still going strong. It's well over seven hours. I actually brought everything back indoors because wasn't planning to spend quite that long outside so it did just flash and say low battery so I think it's getting really close but man this thing's got amazing battery life all right it finally gave out and you can see on um, here the it almost lasted a full eight hours I did not start this exactly when I started playing so I'm pretty confident it gives you a full eight hours um, of runtime it's certainly very very close and I think that's pretty impressive. All right, well, um, was really impressed with the battery life on, on this model. It lasted easily the eight hours that it advertised on the box. Um, probably could have lasted a little bit longer. I unfortunately didn't start my timer right as I turned it on. Um, but even with that, it still lasted seven hours and 40 minutes. Mostly, uh, most of that was all at top volume. I did have to adjust a few things when I took it back into the house, but uh, otherwise worked great, and that was streaming through the Fire TV um, th that whole time. So battery life is very impressive. So what did I like about it? Obviously, the battery life is incredible. The rugged portability is very great. Um, there's nice space uh, to you can put in a Fire Stick or a Roku um, and keep it all contained within the unit, and not have to worry about carrying it separately. That's great. Price is pretty good at one, I think it was 150, 160, um, and that, you know, may vary at your local club, but pretty good. It's solid construction. It's all like plastic and, and rubber and, and like solid, um, uh, maybe not even plastic, that's not the right word, but definitely very rugged. I'm not worried about dropping it or knocking it over. It, it's pretty sturdy, um, pretty easy to work with. Um, so really all a bunch of positives here if you're looking for something portable maybe you want something to take to your tent when you're camping um, or out on the back deck or whatever it's great for all that the downside or the knocks the screen size 15.6 um, inches that's you know bigger than an iPad but not much bigger and yeah you definitely watching football on it I'm like wow uh, I guess I've just gotten used to using a big screen uh, because it look they look so tiny on the on the screen, so that's a bit of a knock. If honestly, if this was a 24 inch or 28 inch, it would really go a long way towards making it um, just more versatile and all around a great option. That's really the only negative. I, I can't think of any other negatives. It's a, a great great little uh, indoor outdoor. TV and so if you're looking for something that you can just enjoy in your deck or whatever I think this is a great pick okay thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next video